Yo, what's good, people, man? It's your boy, Persona, gaming with Persona, one half of the What's Up PlayStation podcast crew. And welcome to episode one of Wups Reviews, where me and Bari sit down and talk about our favorite games that we've both completed. Uh, this first review is actually going to be play, uh, Spider-Man 2, which released on PlayStation 5, October 20th, right? But this is a new segment, a new show happening on the channel where me and Bari are going to be doing our review together on a bunch of different games. A lot of them will be obviously PlayStation exclusives that do come out, but we also will be doing our reviews on other games that we both love and have completed. And we're going to do our joint review like this, right? So um, we hope you guys do enjoy this new segment on the show. You will be seeing this a lot more often in the future. Uh, and it's a, it's a good time to start with the first episode of Spider-Man 2. But before we get into anything, I have to introduce the other half of What's Up PlayStation Podcast, Mr. Light Skin himself, Mr. Jerk Chicken, the best lisp on YouTube. My bro, Barry, in a building. Barry, what's good, bro? Yo, what is good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Welcome to episode one of the Whoops Reviews. And today, yeah, like Persona said, we will be reviewing Marvel Spider-Man 2. You know, this is going to be our first episode. Um, you know, just bringing more content uh, to you guys on the channel rather than just the podcast. We're going to have these reviews uh, for certain games that, you know, me and Persona are going to come together and, you know, discuss and talk about it. And then we're going to, you know, average our scores out. And see what's the actual official whoops review score uh for these games. So I'm we're we're pretty much happy to be reviewing uh Spider-Man 2, uh Marvel Spider-Man 2, and um can't wait to talk about it with you guys. This review will contain spoilers. So for anybody that didn't play the game or didn't complete the game yet, I advise you, you know what I mean, maybe just just pull back a little bit and wait until we uh until you finish the game. That you can check out a review uh, for the game, you know, because we, we really want to go in and uh, talk about all aspects uh, when it comes to Marvel Spider-Man 2 and the reason why we feel a certain way about this game. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get it cracking, man. Yeah, I agree, man. This is this is a great time. I think this is definitely a great uh, beginning when it comes to Spider-Man 2, when it comes to, you know, talking about the reviews and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, for, I, I guess the first place where we could start off, Bari, is, you know, obviously, we've both completed the game, right? We both yes. got the platinum. How much time did you, uh, how much time did you put into, uh, Spider-Man 2? Uh, for me, when I platinum the game, it clocked in at 39 hours, or roughly around 40 hours. Now, officially, I, I probably got, like, around 46, 47 hours in the game, because I'm playing it again, you know, with the ultimate difficulty, but I still got my save, you know, off that spectacular, so... When that new game plus come in, you know, we're going to probably redo the ultimate. But yeah, so 39 hours, 40 hours when I um platinum the game. Yeah. Yeah, for me, uh, it, I platinum the game as well. Uh, I know life the game, Bari. You know, like, you know how yeah. we do, it, man. Like, just like with Final Fantasy 16, uh, I know life this game. I put about maybe 38 hours into the game and uh, it took me about 38 hours to platinum. I didn't start my new game plus or new game yet on ultimate difficulty only because... I want that new game plus and i know uh insomniac said that they were going to be putting out new game plus before the year is over so i said you know what let me wait until uh insomniac puts that out uh and then i'll go back and do ultimate difficulty and all that other stuff as well um oh yeah i, I just wanted to try it out yeah and yo enemies are way more great yeah the, the the first boss fight much much harder uh, um the the you know the sand people that you fight in mm. much more aggressive yeah yeah so you got to be on your p's and q's and it's crazy because like doing it without any like upgraded you know equipment and stuff yeah man you, you they, they they pop you they, you know, it, it, time. they giving you, you know, a run for your money yeah you had like 10 percent. yeah you know, yeah so oh man it's, it's I, a good challenge it's a good challenge. i ain't gonna lie hearing that makes me kind of want to try it now before new game plus just to kind of get that experience i might yeah I might, I, uh, at least try get past the first you know sandman uh fight and then yeah, see, yeah. like yo i yeah i'm i can't wait for new game plus yeah, yeah yeah I, yeah, I, yeah. Have all my <laughs> exactly uh no nah, i get that i get that 100 percent, man speaking of sandman uh bari you know play uh PlayStation kind of let slip a little too early. I kind of wish they would have kept did. this in the tuck, but they get they did let slip before the game released that Sandman was going to be in the game. And uh, you know, I thought he was going to be like later in the game. I didn't think he was going to start the game off, right? Um, so Barry, I got you know, let's start with this question, man. You know, best opening in a game to date. 
when you first sat down, you played it, you swing it in, you see a Sandman and everything. What's your thoughts? How was you feeling? Is this like one of your best openings of all time or of the year or whatever? Tell me how you was feeling uh, seeing Sandman as the opening to the game, especially compared to the first game. Yo, I compare this opening to something like um, God of War 2018. You know what I mean? The thrill of like a boss fight, using that as like a tutorial. Definitely, in my opinion, one of the best openings in a video game to date, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, PlayStation did, you know, spoil and let that slip. But regardless, it was so engaging and fun and switching between Miles and Peter and whatnot, fighting against Sandman and learning all the new mechanics in the game, what you can do. I was just like, yo, this is amazing. Like, this is how you open a game and this is how you do a tutorial. Not that boring, oh, press, press uh, the left stick forward to walk and <laughs> pan the right stick, you know, me to turn yeah, it. Yeah, this yeah. Is like fun and engaging, man. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and, and they used a great boss fight, you know, uh, a super fun character to fight against, showcasing both Miles and Peter, man. So, yeah, I, 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 I would deem this, I'm not going to say the best ever, but I would deem this the best this generation. Or would you put it? Would you put it up generation. there? I, I, uh, sorry to cut you off. Cut. No, cause I, I really, truly, as much as I enjoyed God of War 2018, you know, what I mean, opening with Boulder, I thought that was really, really dope. I I enjoyed this one more. Yeah, I enjoyed this yeah. one more. Playing, switching the two characters mm-hmm, and all that stuff, mm-hmm. using Peter's spider legs and learning. I was like, oh, okay, I enjoyed this more. Would you put this? Would you put this? As like a, a top three this year for you in terms of openings, well, o- openings, openings, yeah. Oh, this is this is top. This is the, this is the top, top. Uh, especially yeah. this year. One one of the things that I love so much about this opening, and you know, Insomniac was really I think in their bag with this opening fight because they did three things for me, Barry. One, they showcased the power of the PS5. There was a lot going on there. There was a lot, you know, you're finding Sandman, big, a lot of the storm is happening. All, you know, the sand is everywhere. You got the, you know, it was, a, it, it, you know, it was a lot going on and there wasn't, I wasn't experiencing no frame issues, right? No. I played on uh, Fidelity, VRR, Uncapped, and 120 hertz on, so about 40, 50 right. frames per second. And so, you know, that was one of the things that I love so much about this opening, especially with Sandman. First of all, having Sandman is great. Second thing I love is how layered the fight was, right? You're fighting this big sand man, but you're also fighting the sand enemies, you're going through all different layers of the building. The building destruction is happening. It's just so much going on. And then the third thing that I love is they really did a good job of kind of just opening up the game with showing you how good the dynamic is going to be. They set the tone with the dynamic between Peter and Miles, how great they work as a team, how they both trust each other, um, and still being pretty playful even though this is a very serious situation, which that's really how Spider-Man is. Like, you know, even in serious situations, he's still pretty playful. Um, I, I really like that they really showed a lot of that off here within the game, just at the start. Like, it's, it's like you sit down, you swing in, and boom. <laughs> you know? They said, they said, welcome to the sequel. Exactly. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to deliver. Exactly. You know I mean? And w- w- one thing I love, too, as well, is the, the, you said the power of the PS5 showcasing, like... All that sand is not easy to like, you know, you know, like populate and have that on the screen. Meanwhile, you're fighting against this and doing all that stuff. Meanwhile, the sand is all on your suit. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Your suit is getting damaged yeah. throughout the the, mm-hmm. the fight as well, mm-hmm. and it's staying there. That's amazing stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it was really, you know, no pun intended when I say this. I think it was really spectacular uh, how they kind of started us off with that fight. And 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 the thing is, because you know how with some games. When you start off strong like that, it kind of tapers off a bit. You don't really, that doesn't really happen here. It, it, it really kind of like, they maintain that high hype level for me uh, throughout the entire game. Like, I couldn't wait to see what happens next. I couldn't wait to see what, where the story was going to lead and how things were going to happen. And at every turn, there was something like even more crazy or happening or more information or something like that. So uh, I think this was a great opening. And I agree with you. Like, in terms of this year, I think this is like, like number one for me personally um for the generation is i think it's definitely in my top three top five for sure you feel me um that's a, that's another convo we'll come back to and, and talk about with that absolutely uh you know as far as like best in the generation or whatnot but for me right now how i'm feeling 
this generation yeah absolutely yeah i agree um so you know it, this is my this is now insomniac's third spider-man game you know they had spider-man 2018 they had spider-man miles morales and now we've obviously got spider-man 2 in your opinion you know how does this feel like you know in, in terms of the leap forward for both a spider-man superhero True. game we'll leap. and in terms of just the the sheer quality the depth you know the changes and things like that is spider-man 2 a a, a big enough a big a huge leap between 2018 and Miles Morales? Yeah, I, I would consider Spider-Man 2 a huge leap between the two games uh, because uh, as much as fun, you know, 2018 was my personal game of the year, uh, Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man uh, 2018 game. Um, and then playing Miles Morales, you see like different movement options and, you know, how fast, uh, you know, you can move with a PS5 or whatnot. So one of the biggest things that, you know, I, I, I just, you know, caught notice really really quick especially in the opening scene was how fast and how agile and the new mechanics that peter can move around in the city so you know i mean just having all that stuff with the spider legs and you know even the upgrades to to have you moving even faster and 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 in different locations uh much much quicker and all that stuff and then the web wings come on man Come on, one of the, man. One of, one of the greatest not additions. Only, not only, not only did they just like, all right, we're gonna give you some web wings. You can glide. They also added mechanics to the web wings. You know, this web can web wing cancels to increase the speed and whatnot. Then you have other abilities when you press the L one and you do your spider legs or your your venom jump or your venom dash. And I'm just like, yo, they this is a huge leap, like gameplay wise, traversal, all that huge leap for sure um mm -hmm. that's the city itself as well you know it's more dense there's more things in there there's more populated there's more cars going around persona mm. ray tracing on every mode crazy absolutely crazy they they huge they leap. really outdid themselves i agree man i think when it comes to spider-man 2 i think they improve for me personally i think this is a huge step up from even miles morales because you know, I always felt Miles Morales is, you know, playing through his game. Miles Morales' combat was better than Peter's for me because it flowed a little bit better. But in Spider-Man, yeah, in Spider-Man 2, they kind of took that concept from Miles Morales and just expanded it across both of them. And they both, like, the combat is is very, very much improved and much more streamlined in this game, right? You know, when, when it comes to how you fight uh within uh within uh with it you know regular enemies or whatever you don't have to go to the wheel anymore you kind of have the you know everything is now like tethered to either r1 and then press a button or l1 and press a button to use like your special abilities and things like that traversing through the world i've never seen new york look so beautiful like this city looks absolutely beautiful like i i i i can't believe it <laughs> you know like i even to this day like you know throughout my entire playthrough it was breathtaking just seeing, you know, being high up on top of a building, seeing how dense the world is. Sorry, the population, the cars, the ray tracing, the puddles. The puddles. The puddles, right? New York the, the, is the, alive, man. Even like, you know, regular NPCs, like, you know, because doing like Quentin Beck's missions, his little side missions or whatever. Yeah. Um, and you see like the, the NPCs that you have to save. Those look highly detailed. Walking through the street. Just seeing how detailed and how much spirit and life is in the world and how the characters look and they greeting you and a lot, there's a lot. A lot, lot that's what I'm saying. Like there's a lot going on in this world, even more so than the previous games. And you see that it's showcased. So I definitely you know, do think you know, you know what did did you try this yet? Like um, you know, there's a bike scene, right, in the game. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you know, doing the, some of the side missions, uh, with the Emily May uh, you know, missions, right? Uh, you, you can use the bike to, you know, that bike machine to generate, you know, all the electricity and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, in the city, there's bikes, like, you know, like city bikes that's around or just regular bikes. And, you know, you, you, you as Spider-Man can just pick it up and just ride around the city, right? Did you do that yet? No, I didn't know that. I didn't do that yet. Bruh, yes, you can. What? Yes, you can, yo. Damn, if you I'm... find a bike, probably go around like the Central Park area. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? You probably see one that's just chilling and just... Just hop on it, bro. He riding the slide in dog. Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try that out now. Now you got me. I learned something new. Mm -hmm. I learned something new. So yeah, I, I do think this is a huge leap, especially 
one of the greatest additions I think to Spider-Man is the web wings. That just it, it changes the traversal of Spider-Man so significantly. So fun, bro. Like I wasn't I only used fast travel once. And that was to get to, you know, just to test it to see. I swung everywhere. I don't care if it was on the other side of the map. I swung. Yeah, I I, I was the same way. Like I, I used fast travel like about I want to say like four or five times, you know what I mean? Just due to certain, you know, there's one bug that I had we'll, we'll talk about it. And uh, there was other times where I was like, oh, let me just fast travel here and see what's happening. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just to see like the flow and all that. And I, and I was curious about it. But majority of my time, I was definitely just zipping around the city, mm -hmm. web winging around the city. There's so much of those wind currents that you can just get around where you got to get to really, really quickly. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, 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 the speed of of this game it felt faster than miles and miles for sure um because of the the new implementations the web wings and the the web dash and the jump that you could have did but it just felt faster yeah. but yeah it's a huge leap for me man huge leap yeah i agree i agree um you know moving on to to you know now we're going guys we're going to get into some spoiler territory here guys fair warning we're getting into spoiler territory uh bari man we got to talk about our favorite scene in the game Mm. Now we could do this one of two ways. We could do top three or just one. I feel like if you pick let's one, do, let's do top three. We got top three. Yeah, hard to do one, man. All right, all right. Do, top three, to top three. One. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. All right. So, favorite scene in the game or scenes in the game? Uh, Barry, give me a top three scenes, man. How you how you feeling about Spider Man right. Two? The best scenes that you saw? Break it down for us. Uh oh, he <laughs> wait. He he going at the spoilers, guys. I warned you. I right, so bust it first. Favorite scene was, you know, a Miles Morales scene where he was chasing down Black Cat. The setup of that, you know, Miles even chasing down Black Cat and looking for Black, uh, Black Cat was just dope. But um, them incorporating other Marvel properties or artifacts, a really powerful one, the 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 um the staff of Watum, um, having that there or the Wanda Watum, my bad, having that there and using and Black Cat using that to teleport around the city as you chase her and then you going through different dimensions and, and not dimensions but different portals and whatnot and then there's a part where you went into like uh i want to say like uh you know uh where, where um the north pole i don't I'm just call it north pole or whatnot right and you see the ice say you're, you're flying through the ice and all that then you got to zip again it gave me some ratchet and clank vibes of this like the the teleportation and the portals or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And they use that with a Marvel artifact. And I was like, just incorporating those other Marvel artifacts. I felt I was the uh, artifact was pretty dope on the game. So that's one. Number two, this is a, this is with a boss fight. You know what I mean? And that's that lizard uh, scene. That's the build up. Not even your persona, not even if it holds you. Like we saw the demo, right? Mm -hmm. We saw the demo. We probably watched this demo multiple times yeah but experiencing it yourself and the lead up of everything in there from the demo scene to the actual leading up to the the, the lizard actual boss fight bro i thought that was amazing the transition going through everything it it, it gave me that feeling off the the the, the uh the wanda watum you know with a teleportation but now you're just doing it in the city with peter he's just like yo it's crazy cars in the way the hunters is chasing a lizard as well you're trying to get the lizard you know what i mean the lizard is carrying a whole truck and is going up the building and whatnot i was mm -hmm. like yo this is amazing and then you end up in the in the, in the sewers and you're fighting the lizard. i'm like yo this is amazing yeah. man yeah yeah that was a good three is hard but i right, the last one come on person you know the vibes man <laughs> you know the five man. Do I, I, know do I you even have to say it? Yes. We are <laughs> Venom. Venom. I ain't even gonna hold you, Persona. I was shocked that we was playing as Venom. Very but shocked. Even if even if they didn't, even if they didn't have you playing as Venom, just that whole scene transition of you know the the cutscenes and Venom that's going wild in New York. He's going wild in Oscorp. Yo, it's just crazy. And then on top of that, we're actually playing that. Crazy. <laughs> yo, son. Crazy. That was that, crazy, that made man. it like yeah. even that much better. Real talk. Yo, I, I, I could go on, but I'm gonna stop it right there because you know what I mean just for the review purposes. But yo, mm -hmm. those are those are 
I'll say some of my favorites yeah. that I'm highlighting. Yeah. Top three. Yeah. All right, man. For me, give it to me, man. Give it to me. Uh, Vary, I'm gonna go. I'm going into like major spoiler territory here, guys. Um, so first one, this is kind of like a late game thing, but when Cletus Cassidy, Woo! Cletus Cassidy, or the Flame, when he stop, when he tricks Peter into blowing up the, the Oscorp train so that he could get the other symbiote. And as he's holding a symbiote and saying all this crazy shit, the symbiote starts to turn red. I'm like, yo, but <laughs> yo, I was in this house going ballistic. I'm like, yo, carnage, carnage. Are you serious? Yeah, that that was crazy. That yo, you, you that, know what's funny? That go ahead. you know what's funny? The second to last, uh, um, um, um. What you call it? A uh, side mission to that, right? Mm. Not the, the last one is when you find out, all right, this is Carnage. This is uh, Cletus Cassidy. Yo, I guess I was like, this guy is very crazy. He's he's, he's sadistic. This might be Cletus uh, Cassidy. You know what I mean? I was just like, I was just randomly saying that like a random thought in my head. But I was just continuing playing. Then, then when it actually revealed that it was him, I was like, oh my god, yo, yeah, that seems yo, crazy. it's probably a chill, man. Yeah, that seems chill. crazy. Another up there, hundred percent. That was that that blew my mind. Another scene that I love, that blew my mind. Not just the Venom gameplay and all that, but when he fought Craven, and when he and and, and when he bites Craven's head off. I was in. The, I, I again. I, I was going crazy. I'm like, yo. We are playing a very different Spider-Man game here, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, that sir. was so incredible. The third one. He, he asked what. Yo, for real. Dead. Yeah, he was like, yo, do it. Do it. Like, this is a great death. I'm like, all right. <laughs> another, another one for me. This is tough, Barry. This is tough. This is really tough. It, it, it is tough because, I, I, yo, I, I, as, as you're I, talking, I, I, there's more that's popping up in my head. This, this is something I'm going to say, but I'm going to save this one for the biggest surprises. Okay. Another scene that I loved was the scene where Miles is in Peter's head with Mr. Negative. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. Oh. he he says, "I can't forgive you," because Mr. Negro's about to sac like sacrifice himself to save Peter, mm -hmm. and he's like, "Yeah, I can't forgive you, but maybe, Dope. but maybe, but maybe we can move forward, or something like that." I'm paraphrasing, and like shakes yeah. his hand and all that, and I'm like, "Yo, no." He was like, "Yo, I, but I can't go through life feeling like this. I gotta move forward." And shakes his hand. I'm like, "Yo, so powerful, man." So powerful. Then you get that galvanized, and that shit was crazy. <laughs> I was like, like yo, little punch. Yeah, I was like, yo, this is crazy. So yeah, I my think those are my. To, my man uh, has the Hadouken, the Shoryuken. Yo, he the got everything. Wow, yo, fact. Yo, there's so many more scenes, but I'm, but you know, obviously we only did top three. But I'm thinking of other but scenes, but I'm gonna save that into biggest surprises. Go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's many other scenes I can just list off here, but. Well, yeah, we're just gonna contain it to yeah, three. Yeah, um, it, it's, not, it's not even like the top three, but just like three, like three that like stood out for us a little amazing. bit. Yeah, man, another one. I I already got another one too, man. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, all right, Barry. So we got a we got our favorite scenes. Now let's do biggest surprise or surprises. Now, obviously, are we gonna do top three here? Top three uh, biggest surprises, or we want to do just one? I'm a, I'm gonna do two. You're gonna do two. All right, I'll do two as well. Start us off, man. What's your what was your biggest surprise or surprises for uh, Spider Man Two? I already know you're gonna take one of mine. <laughs> I already know. Oh yeah, you already know where I'm going, man. It, it goes with the symbiotes. Like, um, the fact that they're incorporating the other symbiotes in there can extend so much with the story. You know what I mean? Where you have you have those, you know, the the typical you know soldier ones. Then you had scream in the game. I was surprised by that. I was like, what? How did they keep that one secret? Uh, persona? <laughs> yo, normally, I don't know how they kept that secret. Man, things must be leaking. But they kept that one secret. and I, yo, They kept the Venom gameplay secret, too. I don't know how yeah, they the kept Venom that. Venom gameplay secret, too. But, yo, the, actually, 
seeing Scream there, mm-hmm. seeing little nods of other uh, symbiotes as well, bro. That that was a big surprise to me. You know what I mean? And also, um, you know, with Carnage as well. But yeah, that's the symbiotes in general. Scream that leading into an actual boss fight as well. Man, I not, mean, no, not, no, not only just Scream, MJ being Scream. MJ being screamed. And, 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 and like her emotions, yo, that was a very emotional fight, this bro. Is, this, yo, I, I, I'm going to use that in, in the boss fight. Yeah, sorry, right. sorry. Yeah, you know got my phone getting hit. But yes, emotional, and we, we're going to discuss it. But yo, my goodness, man, that's 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 incorporating the other, because that them doing that, they could have stick to Venom, you know what I mean, as the main, as the, 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 this main story. But just having seen all the other ones, I feel I feel like they 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 tease like riot and other stuff too. Cause you got scream, you're definitely gonna have to have like you know riot. You're definitely gonna have. I to feel have like they like, tease uh, null too with the stone. Well, who? No. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, because you can go so deep with that with stuff, the stone like symbiote gods mm-hmm, and mm-hmm, you know yeah. the originators, the Grendel and yep. all that stuff. Yep. But yeah, having scream there. You gotta have agony. You gotta have uh, a riot, uh, lasher. You know what I mean? Like you having all this stuff there, and even with uh, 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 carnage being shown, you gotta have the most powerful one there too, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I, I, obviously they're gonna you know relax and have carnage you know do what he do. But once they once they have carnage, you know toxin is gonna be announced there because they're already telling you that the symbiotes. It's, it's already spreading, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They already uh birthing other, you know, different uh symbiotes. So mm-hmm. yep. I'm like I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. Loving what I'm seeing. So those are your those are your so screaming and carnage? Oh, oh. No, no, I mean that's the symbiotes in general. Oh, the it's, symbiotes is that's second, a surprise. Okay. The second big surprise uh for me is it's not really a... well, it, it it's it's how they use um Craven. Like, yeah, Craven, I knew he was going to be hunting everybody else, but, yo, he's a straight slaughter. Yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not, he's not just out here, oh, I'm beating you up for the hunt. He's going for the kill. Yeah. And yeah. There, was a, there was a scene where you went into, like, a, his, his base in a prison, and everybody was dead. Yo. Bro. I was like, yo, this is a different, darker game, yo, because, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yo, he out here murdering people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I, I'll put that in the other surprise. The Sibius and this Craven, how they incorporate him is just more than a he, he hunting, hunting for real. He killing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so I think the so. Oh, you know, you know what? One more surprise. I'm sorry, Persona. I'm sorry. You're going to take mine. I already know what you're going to do. Go no, ahead. I'm not going to take it. You're going to take this it. Gameplay. This all right, gameplay. All right, go ahead. Having the off, you know, support characters helping you out in battle. So not only does Miles do it, we already knew that Miles do it, but you can have uh, Rafe help you out in battle. And Harry. You know what I mean? Harry help you out in battle. Black Cat help you out in battle. You know what I mean? I was just like, yo, yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, this is a nice little surprise. And then all of them have like a press prompt, you know, a triangle prompt, and have like a green and a little funny thing too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But even, even as Miles, there's, there's one time I was just, you know, you know, you know, traversing this miles, just you know, playing around, went to a crime scene, and Rafe was there helping me out. I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. They should be you know, all stoic cool. and whatnot, not wanting to give high fives and Miles. Yeah, was she like, didn't oh, want to give me okay. a pound and I was like, all right. And Miles was like, Peter did the same thing too. He was like, yep. But I, I stopped right there. I stopped right there. All right, so, I ain't take none of them, right? No, no, no. You didn't, and I'm very surprised yeah, you. I'm surprised you didn't. All right, so biggest surprise. I'm gonna do two. Biggest surprise for me, the first one, is Peter becoming anti-Venom. I was not expecting that on multiple levels because one of the things that I was wondering is, wow, you know, they're going to give us the Black Spider powers and then take them away. But then when I saw the skill tree in the game, I'm like, wait, why would they have this skill tree if we're only going to be using Black, be Black Spider for just this limited amount of time? And like, yo, when he became anti-Venom and got the powers, I was like, yo what and then the way that happened i was just like yo this this is kind of like poetic in a way venom versus anti-venom i I love love the way they did that i love what it did because they actually 
they went with the origin there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How anti venom was formed with Martin Lee. You know, well, obviously what brought he was like trying to, you know, cure cancer, or whatnot, but it, it, it transformed venom into like anti venom. Mm -hmm. So but using Martin Lee and Miles to help out to turn it, I was like, Yeah, that was dope because that's like the original uh comic yeah. book yeah. in a certain way. Yeah. Um, so that was one of the big Yo, things. did did you do all the 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 symbiote abilities, you know, cause it was like, yo, you know, defeat like a hundred enemies with the symbiote abilities because I didn't do that. I didn't get that trophy until I got the anti-venom. So, so I was like, damn, how am I going to get this trophy? Cause you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was a big, surprise. yeah, that was a big surprise. Um, the second biggest surprise for me is Craven dying. Mm. I didn't think Craven was going to die. Mm. Not by who? Not, 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 <laughs> not, well, not by Venom. I wasn't expecting that. You know what? Yeah, like I wasn't expecting Craven to die like that. Like I thought like they would have kept him and, you know, try to use it for something later or whatever. Like they just straight killed him. Like he dead. Um, the third one is be being able to play as Venom. Big surprise. That was one of the biggest That's, surprises as well. To be honest with you, that is the biggest surprise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is being able to play as Venom, and like not even just it, this was like an hour and a half. Like you get with Venom, it's you a long, it's time. long. Yeah, you and, it's long, and, 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 and you get a boss like, fight. Upgrade abilities. Yeah, like, like not upgrade abilities, but he was getting more abilities as you're going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the gameplay was fun. The combat, you know, the combat was fun. The the destruction of Oscorp. A boss, a Yo. boss fight at the end. The cutscene, all those enemies, all the enemies. Then you went into Times Square. It was beautiful. It was yeah, bro. it was incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the biggest surprises as well. Real talk, real talk. That was definitely one of the biggest surprises. All right, Barry. Now let's get into the best boss fight. And you know what? I'm gonna make this tough. You can only pick one. Ooh. You can only pick one. We're not gonna do top three. You can only pick one boss fight. What was your best boss fight? If you need time to think, I could go first. I already got mine. I got, I got mine. Oh, I got, got. It. It's tough to just pick one, but to be honest with you, one boss fight that I felt like was just amazing and very dynamic was. Man, this is tough because you know, as I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, this boss fight is crazy. This boss fight is crazy, but I loved the Craven versus Symbiotics. Peter uh uh fight mm, the mm. way how Craven was using the bell and then you had to stop the bell oh, yeah, with yeah. your webs that's the fight and then he's summoning his dogs and then he's doing you know hunter things like he's up in the tree trying to snipe you going going it invisible me, and all that it was very dynamic yeah, huh? it, it gave me like a uh one of my favorite boss fights in gaming is in Metal Gear Solid 3 against um the old dude um what's his call I think his name is the end He's, you know, and he's a sniper dude, and he's you have this big playground where you're in the jungle, and he's a stealth in, and you gotta stealth him back. Like, I got that dynamic with this fight because, yeah, like you had to be tricky as well to fight Craven. You couldn't just, just fight him straight up because he's gonna wash you. You know what I mean? And then, yo, that fight was amazing. And leading to the other fight, too, well, you said one, I'm gonna start for, with that one. That was, you, you mean for that one, but. I'm gonna start with that one. I, I, I'll give, I'll give you, versus... I'll give you, I'll give you an honorable mention. I already know what you're gonna mention because I was gonna mention that as mine anyway. So go ahead, mention it. Yeah, I will give you honorable. Oh, the, mention. the Miles versus Peter. Yes, <laughs> you sir. Know five? Yes, sir. That, that right there, like after you did Craven, then you did Miles versus Peter. Oh my God! Crazy. You know what I mean, that was to me that was a Last of Us moment, Last of Us Part Two moment mm -hmm. because I'm a huge Ellie fan, and you already know the five. I'm a huge bias. Peter Parker fan yep. and having Peter Parker, which I, you know, we, we guessed it that he's going to be a boss. Yeah. Fight. We definitely guessed that for sure. Having him as a boss fight and yeah. how they set it up with the bell and all that stuff. Yeah. Incredible. Like Craven, amazing. Incredible. Fight, man. Amazing. And that was, a, that was a very emotional fight too, man. That was yes, very, it was man. Very emotional. Miles was trying fight. to talk him out of it. Mm -hmm. He was going mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Amazing fight, man. All right, man. Um, for me, what you got? This is tough, man. This is so tough. And, yo, can you, can you say one? You said one. It's so tough. But I think my best, my favorite boss fight is the first time you fight Venom in the stadium at school. 
Ooh, yes, yes. That yes, was yes. such an incredible and difficult. That yo, he yeah. washed me up something crazy. I yeah, barely that, got through that fight. Real talk. That was some that soul was a very, joint because you had to figure out what his move sets were. Yep, like, yep. Right, and like, and then, grab. and then he kept yeah, bringing, then the, he's the bringing out move with the, with the, yeah. With then the, he's bringing out enemy. Yeah. Then he's bringing out the enemies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, this is such a good fight. Very emotional. And like, yo, shout out to Tony Todd, bro. Tony Todd absolutely killed it as Venom. Yeah. yeah and like, yeah. you know, just the emotion. That Pete, that Harry and Venom were having, wanting Peter to join them. And like, yo, Venom was, Venom was messing yo, um, Peter up, something crazy. So yeah, definitely the Venom, the Venom, the Venom Yuri, Yuri killed it as Peter, man. Like, he was emotional. Now he's like, yo, Harry, man. yo, he's like, yo, yeah, he's yeah, yo, Harry, yeah, man. yeah. Snap out of it, yo, Yuri, oh, yeah. Yuri killed this role, bro. He yeah. killed this role. The next one, the, I, the, I honor, the honorable mentor. You already know where I'm going. Scream. Yeah, scream. Yeah, the scream. Yeah, the yeah. scream. Boss fight. The scream. Boss fight. One was so surprising. I had to pause the game. When yeah. when when Venom changed Mary into Scream, gangster, and she stood up. I paused right there because I, I I was speechless. I was speechless. I was like, "Yo, insom yeah, insom insomniac, like, what are you doing?" <laughs> it made it look like he was just like trapping her. But nah, he was he was changing her. He's like, yo, show and he was like, show him what he's missing. I was like, yo. Oh. I was like, yo, this is this is right there is what like cause like I was always already thinking like, yo, this is this is like a 9.5. Uh, you know, this is a this is a high quality game. This is a great game. That right there cemented this as like nothing else, Amen. nothing else is yeah. nothing else is, is topping this for me. Nothing. What made that boss fight so amazing, in my opinion, the emotions. is the fact that they used those emotions of MJ and used all the criticisms of the first game. You know, everybody was talking about MJ. Oh, man, why is she in the game? Nobody wants her to play with MJ. All her missions is whack, blah, blah, blah. And if you listen to the dialogue in that boss fight, they were, they were using those criticisms as powering her, you know, to become Scream and using all of her pain and all that stuff and the criticisms and Peter... It's like the dabs or whatnot. Like, no, talking out of it. No, you you do belong. I do. You know, you 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 are important. You that's know a, what I mean? You a, did do a good, good things. Like, people do love you. You know. And I was like, yo, that's a good catch, bro. That's a good catch. This this what yo? I, I I know you saved it. Rewatch your gameplay, bro. That's a good catch. And just listen to it. And I was like, yo, this was crafted so amazingly, man. Yeah. Amazing boss fight. Definitely one of the best boss fights in there. One of the biggest surprises as well. And I agree with you 100 percent man. Yeah. Amazing boss fight, man. Yeah, the emotion in that was great. That was great. All right. So this is gonna be I I, I think this is gonna be open and shut for you. For me, I, oh, yeah, I I'm a, I'm a little conflicted. I told you. But uh who did you have more fun playing as, Peter or Miles? Why am I even why are we even asking this question? We already know the answer. But you know, just for the sake of the video, uh, Barry, who who did you have in the review? Who did you have more fun playing well, as? And, well, who did you have more fun playing as, and why? Let's go there. Let's let's make it a little um, bit more in depth. To Persona, you know, to be honest with you, man, I had more fun playing as Peter, um, due to the fact of all the transitions that Peter went through. You know, um, I felt like as gameplay wise, he had the biggest upgrade, obviously, because you know they incorporated something new with the spider legs. And not only did it incorporate something new with the spider legs, it was actually pretty fun to use with the spider legs. I also felt like the up move, you know, um, L1 and triangle was better than Miles's jump because Miles's jump is like a specific range. But the 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 L1 and X move of Peter with the with the legs that prop you up, he webs you, pulls you in, then pushes you up. And I was like, okay, I like that a lot. And then you can do that in the air. Obviously, you can do that with Miles as well in the air, but. It, and then the the le the web electricity, I thought that was a cheap OP move. And then he it, it it was great moves, but not only that, he had um the symbiote abilities. You know the symbiote abilities was pretty fun, pretty devastating, very you know not gruesome but visceral as far as like is 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 knockdown potential or knockout potential and all that stuff. Mm. And then on top of that, now. The anti venom ability. So with Peter, you had like three things to choose from by the end of the game. Like I, right, no, well, pretty much two because the, the venom abilities went away. But 
the 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 anti venom abilities was dope too. The 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 the, the ven- anti venom ball that blows up. Then he had the um, you know the the the, the typical explosion joint with all the the, the 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 tendrils coming out. Um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, the 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 web uh, the the classic venom splat thing that splats you up in yeah, the ear. Yeah. And then he had oh the the other cheap one where it, it pretty much like vacuums you in. Jumps up in the air and hits you. Yo, that yeah, jump, yeah, that was the, that was his anti venom move. The first move was the, the the original Black Spider move was when he grabs like a multiple of them and slams them down. Oh yeah, the slam was yeah, fun yeah, too. yeah, the, the slam, slam, the slam. And then was good. when you when you unlock the, it, it, there's no limit to the yo. I, I, yeah, I, yo, yo, yo well, yeah. Like, when you unlock man, the yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. When there's no limit, it's so crazy. It's so so yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Me, for me, it was Peter. Not not saying that Miles was Miles, Miles was, was great. Fun, you know. You know how other people's gonna be like, oh, you just picking Peter because you buy yeah, I'm biased about Peter, but I know I really did enjoy using Peter more. Uh, I think I think I, I'm I, not saying that Miles is not fun. Yeah, Miles is yeah. super fun. I think my for me, Miles was a little bit more style. He 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 had a lot of great things with like his abilities, his upgrades, especially, you know, dealing with the whole Martin Lee stuff. But you know, I'm gonna be honest, you know, I love Black Spider. You feel me? Like that, you know, that whole transition with Peter in that time frame was like incredible to me. So for me, it's going to be Peter as well. But the other thing, too, I think Peter's... Miles did a good job with his emotions. You know, you got to see that real emotional side with, you know, dealing with the loss of his father, you know, wanting revenge with Martin Lee and all that. I just feel like Peter's emotions and his agony and struggles and stuff was just deeper. And it was just... Yeah, it was more... It was more... Pro- it was more... Pro- it, yeah, it was more pronounced, you know, like still dealing with the death of uh, Aunt May feeling like he's not uh, a good Spider-Man or wanting to want a break and all this. The, yeah, like, I'm just like, yo. It, it, all those I just emotions enjoyed that he all had the, back in his mind mm-hmm. as the symbiote was bringing it out, I was like, no one. They, I do I'm everything. Spider-Man with it. Yeah, yeah I do everything. I mean? like, no one, everyone's always asking for help. Just like the transition yeah, of his emotions like, oh, no, and all that needs Spider Man. Yeah, everybody come to save me. Like, I was like, yo, oh, yeah, that's bro. what I'm saying, man. Like seeing all that stuff, I was just like, yeah. For me, I had more fun playing as Peter. I loved playing as Miles. Don't get it twisted. I loved playing as oh, Miles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My, but, Miles is super fun because Miles had his own come out story as yeah, well. Like yeah. yeah, he was a big support for Peter, but he also made his big come out as far as like yeah, I'm Spider Man. Like New yeah. York is mine as well. Yeah, just yeah. Subjugated to Harlem, New York. New York is mine. Is mine. Like, yeah, Spider-Man. especially so, towards Peter, the end when you got a that. little bit. Especially towards Enjoy, the end build up. when he got yeah, that, his exactly. own suit and all that and. Like you know, he you know it's time. I he's like it's time I, I tell my own story and all this other stuff. I'm like, yeah, this mm-hmm. is this is this is great. So yeah, Peter for me as well. Yo, I, 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 and, I, I and, like and really, really, I'm a, I'm a little biased too, man. Like I lo- I love Peter, man. Like I just I've always been a I'm a big Spider Man fan. I love both Spider Men, but Peter, man, it's just Peter for me. To be to be honest with you, like with Miles, um, his upgraded Venom abilities were super OP. Like they yo, were. I was destroying people fast, especially that galvanize. The, the the punch was super fast. Like, yeah, like it will uppercut you, but as soon as you jump up, like I was a boo boo dead. I was like, oh damn, okay. Mm. But one move that was was like a like a escape move for me was his L1 triangle where he did the the, the thunder slam. Then you could do it again. I was like, yo, this this move was destroying people for yep. me. Like I got miles a hundred venom abilities easily. Oh, I got that especially quick. especially when you was with uh Martin Lee. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and they in that in that fight, fighting against all that stuff. Even even that boss fight was amazing too, man. Yo, it <laughs> like, was that Martin Lee boss fight? Yo, he was messing me up too quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yo, and and really and truly, guys, like we can keep going forever. Like this could be like a four hour review, but we you know we be in the interest of time. You know we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We but gotta get into the scoring. Yeah, we're gonna get into now. the scoring, guys. So, um, but are we gonna do it in this type of way? We're gonna score specific aspects of the game. Then we'll give our overall score at the end. Cool? All right. So uh, the first one, give me a score when it comes to graphics, character, detail, and animations. What are you scoring at? I'm giving the overall graphics a 10 out of 10. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that, because I felt like it went above and beyond. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like the things that they were doing in this game, you know what I mean? Like, nobody's was really asking for it. It's, it's nice that they implemented it in there, but they executed it well. Um, they, they, there's, there's certain hitches in there as far as, like, you know, NPCs and whatnot, how they look, you know, in, in, in the open world. 
But overall, the everything coming together just crafted well, in my opinion. The city, mm-hmm. um, you know, the environments. I felt like Insomnia nailed it when it came to the environments, uh, especially when it came to like the enclosed areas. That those environments to me was Naughty Dog level of environment detail. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like going to the hunters' headquarters from the uh the 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 Craven area where you went to that little museum area. You Peter, you know, doing the little butler job mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. detailed that world was. You know the scene where in the demo when you went to the 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 uh I think it was in Queens or whatnot. And you was in the little grocery shop or the store and the scene of detail of that world. Yeah, like open world, the closed areas, the game itself looked amazing. The character details, the models, in my opinion, look amazing. Adding more animations, more takedowns, even adding uh, you know, uh damage effects and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it 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 looked amazing to me, man. And then what what cemented it for me, like I said earlier, is the Sandman portion of them having all that sand within the world and keeping up the graphical, you know, integrity in the game. I just felt like, wow. And then even with the symbiote, the symbiote taking over, the world look amazing. Daytime, dusk, dawn, nighttime, the game just look amazing. For me, yeah, I I, I love I love the graphical details yeah, uh, in the yeah. game. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, I, I feel like when it comes to the graphics, the fact that you have everything ray traced, everything looks so high quality. The lights, um, I think one of the most beautiful graphical showcases in this game is Coney Island. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, being being in Coney Island, I think, and and the entire city does this, but the reason why I'm saying Coney Island specifically is because it's a more enclosed area, and it's, it's just so, like, that. I think that was a proper representation of how Coney Island would be, like, straight up. And, and, and it, the it, fact that the, the fact that presentation of the ray tracing too, yeah, the ray tracing, the lighting, the graphics, the the density of that area with like all the NPCs and just so much going on and happening, and I was blown away by that. I was very speechless by. It. I thought that was one of the most beautiful things I seen this year, being at Coney Island at night. So I'm gonna have to give the graphics, character detail, animations a ten out of ten. You know, fighting in the game and things like that. Well, I'll, we'll get to that later. But you know, Barry. How would you score New York itself? We both New Yorkers. You feel me? Yes, so, sir. you know, we, 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 we can accurately give our score here. Um, for New York itself and the things to do in New York City, what score are you giving that? I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 because the Bronx not in there. Not just... <laughs> it's a 20 out of 10 for me because the Bronx isn't in there. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm giving New York itself a 9 out of 10. Mm-hmm. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is because there was a lot of stuff that you can just play around with. The New York is your sang- you know, your, is, is your playground. You know, what I mean, adding the, the 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 current streams and you know the things to propel you up in the air using the web wings. I'd have felt like Manhattan itself is more populated and dense. Uh, it felt bigger as well. You know what I mean? Because they added more into it. It's more things that you can just see. And like I said, one of the things I like that I caught was riding a bicycle on a bicycle and then pressing triangle to hop on the joint mm-hmm. and i'm like i'm really riding a bicycle in spider-man you know what i mean so uh stuff like that i did enjoy i did enjoy walking around and seeing the npcs interact with spider-man once again or the npc just interacting with the world whether it's like them doing like a festival them doing like a dance off break dancing you know people you know interacting with the you know the the, the street shops and the, the carts and all that stuff was pretty cool um, but I, I would say the reason why I'm giving it a nine, because I did encounter, you know, like a bug, you know, when, when it came to like one of the crimes where I got glitched into like the bridge, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And that is a part of New York city. So that I feel like they could clean that up. Um, and like, yeah, there, there's a lot of repeated NPCs. There's a lot more NPCs, but there's a lot of repeat. And sometimes you see like, oh, I see three of the same people in this one little spot right here together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That could throw you off a little bit. But, you know, I mean, that's understandable because there's a lot uh, to deal with in NPCs. But overall, yeah, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, mm-hmm. this, mainly because of the bug I encountered, but yeah. 9 yeah. out of 10 for me. Yeah, for me, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And so the reason why uh, I think new, I didn't experience like bugs like that. Like I saw your video that you put up where you were showing the, um, the, the, the car chase that you were trying to stop and you glitched into uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. So 
Mm-hmm. I didn't experience no no bugs like that. The only bug that I experienced within the game, um, or at least in the city, was like I was trying to do uh, one of the crimes. And when I completed the crime, like I was trying to complete the crime, but it kept saying I can't because there was an enemy still around. I couldn't find him. And oh, he and he was glitched. He glitched into like, you know, a building or something like that. Um, that was one of the open world things that I did experience uh, within New York City. The, the also the other reason why I'm not giving this a, 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 a full 10 out of 10. I feel like there was a lot of side stuff to do in the game, but I wish there was more, you know, like, yeah, I wish yeah, they would have yeah, added. I, I wish they would have added like, you know, um, at least let you redo like the symbiote nest or, or, or something like that. Or, I don't know. I just feel like there was more. I wish there was more that you could do in terms of side stuff in the game. Um, yeah, like I feel like it just kind of like, ended. It kind of uh, just like I feel like it just kind of just ended. That's just like damn man. Like, like I just want. I want more. You know, and maybe I that's agree. just me. And I feel like they need they they need more crime situations. Yes, you know what I mean it was a it lot was of pretty repeats. Much, yeah, it's pretty much like four or five crimes that was going on. You know, what I mean, either mm-hmm. the fire truck, there's a car chase, or the bus, or people, robbery, stuck, people stuck in the bus, yeah, the bus. You know, what I mean, like it's New York City. There's a lot of things that go on. You know, yeah. what I mean, like yeah. incorporate somebody getting their purse stolen or something. You know, what I mean, like I, so. Yeah, definitely, I, I'm giving it a nine because I did enjoy the playground itself. Mm-hmm. But there was there's definitely cons in there. You know, that we'll 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 bring that up again yep. uh, before the game. Yep. Um. Com, uh, so you know, next thing, score the music and sound. Oh, ten out of ten. Yeah. Um, the music I, I, was I, amazing. Mm-hmm. I love the theme of two different Spider Men. You know, as you as you traverse throughout New York City, um, the sound does does hearing the webs come out of of, of the uh, web shooters. Mm-hmm. That sound. Good. Or you know flying I mean? through, or using the web wings and gliding through web wings, and you hear that, yeah, yeah, like, mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. That, that that sound good and all that. Um, hitting the enemies, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if there's somebody with metal or armor, you hit a kink. You know, when you when you hit those dogs or the the, the actual little birds, you kink kink. Like the sounds is top notch. It's a PlayStation game, so I, I I'm you know what I mean they they deliver when it comes to sound and when it comes to musical score. You know what I mean when uh. Symbiote's taking over and Venom taking over. It's dark and gloomy. You hear yeah. the theme. It's changing. The sound, yeah, the, sound uh, the sound of like the rain and thunder mm-hmm. during that section. Oh, yeah. The other, yeah, in oh, yeah. Theme, yeah. Also, the sound of New York City, the honking and the, and the mm-hmm. character, the, the, the NPC screaming. random conversations when you're walking on the street and all that. Mm-hmm. I think they did really good on that. So, yeah, that's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me as well. Um, yeah. Combat, enemies, and suits. What you giving up? 10 out of 10, man. Absolutely. 10 out of 10, bro. Yo, they're they going to think we super biased, but yo, best combat to date, in my opinion. You know what I mean? There's stuff that I'm still exploring with the combat, but yo, it's so fun and engaging, man. That's the you know, propel people up in the air, keep them juggled in the air. You know what I mean? The, all the new implementations, you know, the web slam to ground bounce them up. You have different ground bounce op, uh, options. You know, you have more environmental stuff, you know, within the combat, uh, the suit upgrades, you know what I mean? Uh, you have the skills, the individual skills, the pool of, you know, both Spider-Man skills. It was a, the gadgetry, you know what I mean? Even though the gadgetry is less gadgets, but they're more effective because I was going to say the more... upgrade paths for the gadgets, I think is yeah. really, is really good because like, for instance, when you use one of the concussion, you know, it upgrades it to exactly. like a sound concussion. And then it does like the, when you first it throw it, mines. it drops the mm-hmm. mines and everything when you upgrade it. So I, I do think even though there's less oh, gadgets, even the, even the web, the web pull thing, like that one was dope because when you upgrade that, you pull them together, but also now you can use it as a weapon so you can grab it mm-hmm. and web drop, you know, throw it and all that. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, I think I think for me, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 as well. This is definitely the most fun combat I've had in a Spider-Man game ever. Um, in a superhero game, even, you know, like, you know, the air combos in this game, you could be in the air the whole, con- the whole game, bro. You could just be, yes, I was in the air. I was in the air a lot, bro. I was, I was rarely on the ground, yeah. boy. I was in that air, pulling them up, doing them air combos. Um, enemy variety is so, it's so, the enemy variety in this game, I think is, is top notch as well, because as you progress further into the story, the enemies become different, much more difficult. And they adapt to you, bro. The Craven's Hunters is probably some of the most 
advanced enemies I've adaptable. fought in the game. They're very adaptable. You in the air, they're going to throw something up there to get you out the air. Yeah, you know that, they're going to that, that, that web net. The electric like, web. Nah. He's in the air. Let's, get, let's bring him down. And yep. they're communicating. Yep, they're communicating. And they're using, like, the dogs to, to disrupt your, your gadgets and powers and all this stuff. And yep. they got the enemies that's fast and won't get pulled in by your web pull. And all. The enemy variety is so good. And then when you progress further and you fighting them symbiotes, mm -hmm. listen, man, listen. Yo, you got to deal with each one differently. Yo, they you can't fight. You. Yo, the green ones, you ain't grabbing them, bro. You you're gonna have to concuss. You you're gonna have to concuss them first. The enemies are the, so the, good. The, and, the, the and, web, and then and then shooters for the green one, it comes into play. The uh, the rapid one too, that one comes into play the, big time. The suits. I love the suits. Well, let, let me talk about the enemies too, man, because the hunters, probably one of the best implementations, uh, you know, in a superhero game, because they adapt. Like you have you have a counter, but they have a counter too. You think you just pressing square, square, square? Oh no, they gonna. Oh no, no, they gonna parry. Yeah, they gonna. They gonna parry. They will count you. They're like, nope, get off me. Then they back up. Then they had the other dudes where they're trying to hunt you and and not only not only that, but but Mysterio's enemies as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's just so many enemy. The variety of enemies in this game is very, is very, very. You are gonna have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, like like the enemies are super fun. The flame, the flame, how they adapt to you. Yeah, the flame and yo, the flames was they were tough in the beginning. Again, they was beating me up, bro. Yeah, they they was beat, there's, there's there's some there's some uh, crimes that I failed. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know dude had a whole counter where he have you trying to punch him or you try to web him. He just throw a whole bunch of flame out, and then he has another move. And they now they incorporated the whole parry. Mm -hmm. You have to get your parry timing on mm -hmm. on, on, on point. Yeah, that parry that parry in the, the game low is attack, very you can parry it. yeah that parry in the game definitely took me a long time to. To get down, and I still don't have yeah, it down like hundred percent. The, the, the timing on enemies' attacks is different. Yep. You know what I mean? And then when you incorporate the symbiotes and the brutes and all that stuff, it's just different. So yeah, enemy yeah. variety and all that stuff. Enemies, amazing, man. I, yeah. I enjoyed that. Um, and then suits. You listen, man. The suits. I love the suits. I love the tease for something X Men related with my boy Miles. Ooh, that, that was the prize. That was the prize right there. That's a nice Easter egg. Technically, Wolverine is in the game, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Olise's his costume. Mm -hmm. They got the original Black Spider suit, which I, I, I love. The, and They have the original the, animated and series. And animated series. And the, and the animated series version with that weird, with that glow around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it looks like, like it's not black, but it's like purplish. Like purplish, yeah. Purplish. Listen, yeah. All right, 10 out of 10. Um, Yo, so Insomniac uh, added uh, 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 my favorite suit. You know what I mean? I was requesting this suit from the first game. Mm. They didn't have it in the first game, but they added it in this game. Mm -hmm. Boom. The only suit that I was disappointed in not adding is is my stealth suit and uh, the Scarlet, uh, you know, uh, Spider version 4. But, you know what I mean? Them adding Superior Spider-Man and then using the web legs with Superior Spider-Man just looks the best out of all of them suits, mm. man. But... There was some, there was some suits that was, eh, you know what I mean. But overall, there's so much to you pick know, from. You know, I wasn't really Great feeling. Variety. I don't know if you felt this way too, but like I, I tried on some of the the deluxe edition suits. Once I saw the other suits that was in the game, I didn't really want to use the deluxe edition ones at all. I'm just like, I'm good. Oh yeah, I, I, but I, I'm using the deluxe edition now just to see them how I look in motion. But I'm not a fan of the suits that have so so much going on with it. I'm yeah. like, the, I like the more simplistic listen, listen. suits. Yeah, well, and then, some of them do look good. Some of them do look good. One of the one of my favorite suits with Miles is the Mysterio suit that you get because when you change it oh, yeah, white yeah. and gold, you look like the White Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which yeah, looks nice incredible. Reference. Um, so you know, I do think, uh, you know, there was some really good suit variety in the game for sure. I think there's something there for everybody. Like truly, they had my Scarlet Spider. You feel me? The Ben Riley suit. So I was happy. Oh yeah, yeah um, and the colors look dope for that the color. Too. Yeah, they do. Um, all right, so. Story, character progression, uh, and you know, score that. And do you think that they implemented uh, Peter and Miles well in this game? Yeah, story wise, one of the best stories in a superhero game. You know what I mean? Like, I love their original take on the symbiote. I love their original take on the, on the Spider Man. You know, Miles. You know, them incorporating MJ to be more prominent, more pronounced. I thought that was really smart and dope. Yeah, using yeah. her in a boss fight as well to. You know, execute that. I felt that was dope. Um, before yeah, you, before I, you, I, before I just, you continue, let, 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 let's touch on yeah. that real quick. MJ, MJ, real quick. Um, 
because I know we said Peter Moss, but I want to I want to include MJ in that because you know the first game a lot Jimmy of people Gordon. a lot of people were not feeling the MJ missions. They weren't feeling like you know it, it felt like just a bore and it was bogged down. But in this game, I feel like they implemented MJ really well. She fits into the story. I don't feel like she's shoehorned in. I didn't even think she was shoehorned in in the first game. But even her missions, they made sense. It was fun. It was obviously more stealth-like because MJ ain't no superhero. She ain't fighting these dudes. But the stealth aspect and, like, what she was doing, and then towards the end when you had to get the rock, yo, I'm like, yo, they gave her a boss fight and all. I'm like, yo, this is... Mm -hmm. I like this. I like this MJ implementation, mission structure and implementation. I had a lot of fun. How you feeling with MJ? Yeah, yo, MJ, I like MJ missions. The shooting mechanics actually felt good. They did. You know what I mean? Like doing multiple shots with the webs and, and, and um, the pulses. I thought I was like, okay. You know what I mean? It's just not just tacked on. You know what I mean? The stealth mechanics were still there as far as like, you know, uh, 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 you know, disrupting or, 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 you know, trying to attract their attention somewhere else. Mm. But yeah, I, I, I love M MJ implementation, you know what I mean? Just on a story level, you know what I mean? How she, you know, her and Peter was, you know, much, much closer, you know, in 2018, it was like kind of off and on, you know, broken up and whatnot, but they're official couple now, you know, planning to move in together and all that stuff. Um, She worrying about her job and, you know, she need this job and then nah, man, I'm trying to come. Nah, you know what? I don't need your job. F you, uh, uh, JJ. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? I like that. And then, like I said, early in the boss fight, implementing her and using all the criticisms off the first game and, and, and powering that emotions with this boss fight. Amazing, man. So mm -hmm. yeah, I love MJ. Um, and I loved her missions. You know what I mean? They made it fun. Yep. Uh, but yeah, story wise, I love what they did with Peter. You know what I mean? Like the, the things of the past game was not forgotten. It's implemented in his emotions and how he felt and all the, the emotions that he had to, you know, put deep within him. But eventually the symbiote was, you know, push that out. You know what I mean? I was just like, yeah, man, this was, this was pretty dope. Their, their original take on how, you know, Black Spider, uh, you know, Peter was and how he interacted with everyone, you know, people that Peter was joking around and respected. He was talking to them, you know, you know, Disrespectfully, with Rio Morales, my man. Hey yo, she's about to get that chancleta. Yeah, yeah. She, she yo. gave that man that and look. She, and she would have said something else. She lucky she went quiet. Cause Peter looked at like, hey yo, she. <laughs> yo, I, I, I'm gonna say that part was yo, funny. I, don't, don't talk to me that way. <laughs> yo, but me, she so. gave him that look too, though. I'm like, yo, I don't know. That would have been a. Oh, yeah, she had that Puerto Rican look. She's like, listen, Papa. <laughs> Who you talking to? <laughs> that Miles, you know, my, I thought Miles' transition was dope too because yeah, he's he was that supported the other Spider Man. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, he was showcasing that, you know, helping out Peter, making sure he was good, trying to be there, and using that jealousy of Peter's best friend. You know, being back in his life, and Peter want to spend time with a friend. You know, like a, that's how normal shit would do. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. normal shit would happen like that. You know what I mean? And Miles is like. Hey man, you know, you gonna do the tutor thing? Like, hey, you got time for me? Like, you know what I mean? And then using Harry's being the best friend, and then Peter dealing with Miles because Miles is helping Peter out, and then Harry becoming jealous a little bit. And I was like, and then they incorporate that in the boss fight. It's like, yeah, I was jealous of you, Harry. You yeah, know what I mean? And yeah. I was like, oh my god, yeah, yo, the story of a ten yo, out of ten, yo, for real. The way they incorporated that, so much emotion, bro. Honesty, emotion. Ah oh, man, yo, I, I love this game so much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with you. I think the story, character progression, implementation of Peter Miles and MJ, all ten out of ten for me. 10 it's a ten out of ten. Um, I think, best. I think, yeah, it's the best implementation uh, uh, of a Spider-Man game, and and especially with this trilogy or these three games, this is the best story, bro. There's so much emotion. There's so many emotions. There's happy moments, sad motion moments, scary moments. A very emotional story. Very dark. Very emotional. 10 out of 10. Straight up. For me, story-wise, uh, they, they propel themselves there in that Naughty Dog level. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. As far as how you can... Especially, especially for this being change. a... Especially for this still being... This is not a mature rated game. This is a T. Yeah, yeah. This Imagine if this was M rated. Mm -hmm. This is why I think like, yo, and I, I don't want to get off track, but Wolverine... Seeing this, I have a lot of faith that that Simon's going to knock it out the park with Wolverine. I, I have no, I, and that's M rated, Barry. That's M rated. So, yeah. 
Um, all right, last one. Issues, cons, bug glitches, and improvements. Yeah, for me, um, you know, I did have some cons with the game. It's, it's, you know, it's a few cons. But overall, my cons of the game was not having New Game Plus there day one. I agree, 100%. You know, I you, you got to put. I don't know if they made an announcement. They did. Uh, they like, did. They said it's gonna be. Did. It's gonna come out before the end of this year. They did confirm that. That's confirmed. Okay, but yeah, man. Um, that's not having that day ready to go day one. It was that was disappointing for me. Um, another thing I felt like disappointed was I wanted more activities or like side missions or crimes. You know, like we mentioned earlier, I felt yeah. like they listen to a lot of the scrutiny of like the media per se. Um, but in my opinion, like you crafted such a, a great world, you added so much more abilities. I wanted to use that in more situations, you know, in more side missions and more crimes that's going on. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, you added so much to the city, but you gave less activities uh, yeah. than compared to 2018, 2018. It was a lot of side missions and stuff to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I enjoyed being Peter Parker. I enjoyed showing the the strength and the the intelligence of the Spider Man. Cause Miles is a smart character. Spider, you know, Peter is a smart character, and having them do all the little puzzles and all that stuff. I think that's that's dope. You know what I mean? I actually want to see a little bit more of that. You know, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was that was another con for me. And this is this is one for me. Like not having like an encyclopedia of all these characters. You're introducing a lot of characters like Scream, you know, people know Venom, you know, you have Carnage, uh, Cletus there, you know, Rafe, Mysterio. It would be dope to have like a, a, a biography, you know, of those characters, like other like other superhero games, especially like the Arkham games. The Arkham game, they'll tell you the origin of the character, what issue they showed up first, giving you a description of the character, even like know, a the background, story. even like games like Avengers where they have the comic books for those heroes and, yeah. and stuff like. That. I wish, yeah, I agree. I wish they would have had something like that as well. Yeah, because you, you go back into the game, you go into the menus, and you, you don't have you don't have none of that. Yeah. You know what I mean, just to look back and read, like, oh, this is this is where Scream first appeared. You know, what I mean, that'd be dope just to have that, and that gives more like comic book fans, you know, that fan for service uh, right there for the game. Mm. Uh but. I did have one crash in the game, um, you know, the spider bot side missions, which I thought was dope. That end up, that lead up to that was was fun as hell. Teasing the spider verse uh, within the, the 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 game universe of Marvel, um, but I, it did crash. That like, as soon as I got to the cutscene, it the game crashed. That was my only crash in the game. But you know, right when I booted back up, it continued right there from the cutscene. I was like, okay, it is what it is. And I did encounter two bugs where in Coney Island. Um, I couldn't pick an accessory for Peter. I didn't. I could have picked a hat and glasses or nothing like that uh, for Peter. So I was just looking bland while everybody had their joint. And it was talking like, oh, you look cool, Peter. Look, yeah, you got that. I was like, <laughs> I don't have nothing on. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. obviously the one in the um in the bridge where I got stuck in there and I had mm. to fast travel out. Mm. But those are my those are my cons of the game, man. You know what I mean? Like it's nothing really detrimental yeah. where I can really like ding the game. You know what I mean? Other than like not having you know the, the 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 biographies of these characters that's dope um and i feel like more mission not, the side missions was great i think the pace and the length of the game was great but i wanted more to do with all these new mechanics in the game yeah yeah um yeah i i feel like when it comes to issues and cons i'm kind of in the same boat as you when it comes to a lot of that stuff especially with the side activities one of the issues that i had was I feel like with Miles, I wish a lot of his side missions weren't just confined to his school in Harlem. I kind of wish some of his stuff kind oh, of yeah. a, was a bit more expanded throughout the city just to kind of get him more, not when I don't want to say well-known, but just give him that, you know, because at the end of the game, it's like, oh, this is my city, whatever. But I feel like a lot of his missions were confined to just his school in Harlem. And I'm like, you know, we could have expanded that out a bit more. Um, mm -hmm. another issue that I have is that I do wish that they kind of would have committed to at least having Carnage in the game, in this game, instead of like probably DLC mm -hmm. or a third game. Like, you know, I feel like that tease, I'm kind of just like, oh, man, that'd have been great to kind of have them team up and you, and you got miles, miles, it'd have been too, I know it'd have been too much. And this is kind of just me like, this is a pipe dream, but miles and Peter versus Carnage and Miles Peter Ray versus Carnage and Venom. 
or something like that. I don't know. And Maybe that's like, what, what, what Venom and Carnage, they don't like they, each they don't other. Like each other. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it wouldn't make sense. I get it. Um, when it comes to bugs, obviously the bug with um, one of the crimes that I had, another bug that I had was that I was doing, a, uh, I was doing one of the boss fights and I, was, and I did the restart from last checkpoint and it black screened on me. So I had to close the game and start back up, and obviously I went back to what it was, and that only happened once. Um, is there another bug? No, no other bugs. That's the only thing. So yeah, those 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 are kind of like my cons and stuff like that. The so Bari overall score. You know we've scored everything individually. Now let's come together and let's give our whoops our official first whoops score. For Spider-Man 2. All right, what are you giving it? Yeah, so like, you know, my personal score, you know, what I had in my review, I, you know, scored Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man 2, a 10 out of 10. Not saying that it's a perfect game, but I feel like the the tropes, the execution, the character, the story, the combat was so well crafted that I, le- I deem this game like a masterpiece. You know what I mean? Like, I want more. I want to play more. I want to get that new game plus. You know what I mean? I'm continuing to play the game again just to get more, you know, in depth with the combat Mm -hmm. and, you know, more in the story. I loved every bit of this game. The pacing, the the length was dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, they had a little few issues here where as far as, like, things that I will desire, Mm -hmm. but it's not like things like, oh, this was a detriment to my gameplay or this was a detriment to my experience type of ordeal. You know what I mean? So... Mm -hmm personal score a 10 out of 10 for me yeah um no surprise right uh my score is also going to be a 10 out of 10 as well what a what <laughs> i know they they're they gonna have a field day with this one barry oh yeah, um yeah, yeah. i this game for me is the best superhero game that i've played um 100%. ever the story the world the characters the combat the experience new york city the density of the world I think this game captures not just Spider-Man, but I think being a superhero in such a unique and great way because you're actually seeing the emotions. Because, you know, when you see superheroes, we only see them saving a day. You don't really think about what they go through, what they're dealing with. And I think this game did a good job of showing both what Miles and Peter are going through or just being Miles and Peter or of maintaining relationships or of dealing with the pressure of having to always save the day and be that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. You're seeing that. You also see what they go through with dealing with loss. I loved it. So this game is absolutely a 10 out of 10 for me as well, my personal score. 100%. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that would average around the official WUP score for Marvel Spider-Man 2. 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yo, listen. Uh, <laughs> this was a fun review. I, I love this, man. This was great. This is our first watch reviews. We hope you guys did enjoy this. Definitely let us know in the comments if this is something that you guys like, this format, this formula, how we do things. We're definitely looking for feedback to see, you know, you know what needs to be fixed, what needs to be changed, and things like that. Um, but you will definitely be seeing more of these. Uh, as more games begin to release that we're both playing and, and give our thoughts on as well. Um, but yo, Bari, uh, you want to give them the outro? Yeah, man. You know, like I said, you know, Whoops Review, episode one. This was fun to do. You know what I mean? With a great game like Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, let us know your thoughts. You know, do you agree? Do you disagree? Don't attack us because, yeah, this this is our feelings. It's not just because it's PlayStation or whatnot. Uh, but this is how we felt playing the game. Um, you know, we definitely try to be, you know, professional and try to be accurate and transparent with how we feel about these games when it comes to our WUPS reviews. So, you know, there's more to come when it comes to the, you know, this series and these videos. And we hope that you guys enjoy it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy your stay here, man. So definitely see you guys on, you know, Saturday uh, for WUPS. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy this, hit the like button. Yes, sir. And as for me, man, uh, you know, I'm Persona. And, you know, I definitely have some content coming to the channel. Uh, we hope you guys did enjoy Whoops Reviews Episode 1. Um, and, you know, we'll definitely see you guys Saturday. Uh, this Saturday, Episode 145, What's Up PlayStation Podcast. Same time, same place, same crew to Whoops Crew. We appreciate you guys. 
Have a great day. And we out. Peace.